One of the battles that we face when we are experimental in our approach is the fact that new materials and new building technologies that we develop do not fall under the approved construction technologies and then they, there are no norms for them. The aim of this two-week workshop was twofold. On one hand, we wanted to reproduce ferrocement elements the way we do them in India, so that the real strength tests could be made of exactly our Indian elements in a German lab. So what we've done in Germany is we've taken Indian craftsmen who are expert masons, very skilled, and we've taken them to the other end, which is high-tech German engineering. The second aim of this exercise was to transcend whatever ferrocement has been able to do until now because ferrocement involves the use of finely distributed chicken mesh inside a cement matrix. So we wanted to take advantage of German know-how and technology, especially in this department of the Technical University headed by Dr. Mike Schleich. This is, I think, the typical engineering approach that you make models, you make experiments, you make tests, and from these tests you derive engineering models that help you give a mm. kind of a guidance, a handbook, you know. Most important of all, I mean, double curved concrete structures are very slender. They're mm. really minimizing the use of material, they're minimizing the use of resources, and therefore they're truly sustainable. And therefore, I think this, this, there, there will be a renaissance, renaissance of, of these shell structures. Yes. So do you think that it makes sense, right? It makes sense to explore forms that would lend strength to the, Certainly. To the structure? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, they are in a way uh, very ecologic, you know, because they re save resources. But at the same time, they are also social, social. because they require well-educated engineers, you have to be able to calculate it, and on top of that, well-educated labor. Uh, this is not easy. It cannot be all done uh, only by machines. happy that we can uh, support Anupama for this Biennale project because then we have the chance also to learn about this ferrocement technology, how it is used in India and we want to take this as a, a real starting point for further collaboration in this field and to bring uh, our technology and the craftsmanship in India together so that we have uh, an advance in the technology also for the Indian people. We are now trying to develop with our Indian uh, colleagues some new aspects for these materials so that we think about uh, enhancing the concrete they use uh, regarding durability or the rust of the reinforcement. And we also think about testing the uh, products they make regarding strength and uh, flexibility, which is an important aspect in engineering.
I think this is also interesting for students because they are aware of the social impact of this technology and also of the problem of affordable housing. So may we have the chance here to have a contribution for the future. Yeah, for us it's a quite important project to work together with the guys from India with the um, cultural impact from there because for example what they are doing is um, by in terms of mixing the the items is um, it's, it's more by feeling or looking how the material behaves and this is what we can actually learn from them that we don't really need all those um, sophisticated um, tools or calculations that you all also can get very good results just by, by the experience. For me the most important is to negotiate between how much high tech and how much low tech, okay. region yeah. to region, place to place. So if we, therefore I think if we you have come up with a couple of different alternatives for the boxes, yeah. the bolting and the slabs. Yeah. And rather than saying we are under pressure to say what is good, let us try yeah. a few models that are interesting okay. to the end yeah. and count the costs. Yeah. You see? No, let me mm. go. Again? <gasps> oh my god. Wait, I also so it looks like sticky. It looks like quite wow. sticky, you know. But um, okay, as soon as we stop the moving and then putting the force into the mixture, it's getting liquid like water. So, you see? Now you see the deviator, yeah, the, the air is coming out and it's bubbling like mm. a volcano. Ah, oh, that's why I'm boring like that, huh? What is this? <laughs> oh. So like that only the benches were made. Yeah. The stools. Yeah. Oh my god. And this is? What is this? You have to keep moving, otherwise yeah. it's a mess. <laughs> okay, so you keep moving. And you keep moving. Please do it again. Do it again. Do it again for the video. Oh my god. This is the shop. See, look. It's, if, you, if you don't move, it's... Oh my goodness. I mean, how long is this setting? Wow. How long time it's setting? I don't know, maybe half an hour. Half an hour. But the moment you stop mixing, again it's flowing. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's what I like, you know, it's so... First of all, it's multicultural, you know, we went yeah. to the... I went down to the lab a yeah. few days ago. There was <laughs> the Indians, there was the Spanish, there was the Germans, you know, it was like an intercultural collaboration and it's also an interdisciplinary it's really, yes. because there is there is as you say research but it's more investigation you know you're yeah. playing it's experiments you know it's not so many formulas yeah. but still there is the research assistance here there is the students there is um, full-grown engineers there's mm -hmm. full-grown architects no, there's artists you yeah. know there's, there's contractors all these separate researches we've done, you know, like these color, trying to take away the drabness, whatever it is that the Indians mm. will make 
you know, the moment there's some color in it, <laughs> they don't mind the modernist. Uh, that surprised me very look. much. That's so nice and looks so nice to touch it. You want to just exactly. go, oh, I want to leave there just yeah. to touch it. So that the idea is that I'm giving the message that the structural element can be the finishing element mm -hmm. and not to keep on decorating architecture yeah. when there are no resources. Yeah. We've been developing a very long series of experiments in India over many years with ferrocement. But we've been able to take that even further through German collaboration. And we've tested, instead of conventional chicken mesh that goes into a typical ferrocement construction, we've managed to experiment with glass fiber and unconventional fibers and unconventional cements. So we've been playful there in the lab and we are going to get all of those pieces tested in Germany and we are going to have results. <laughs>